Marcos was a man of peace. People have disappeared and no, not no, come no, back. No, no. There was a trial. Mrs. Marcos, what about my family? Look at me. I'm one person who... I'm looking at you. Don't <laughs> I worry. had one person, you know, I am one person whose life was changed as a result of the martial law because my mother dared to write a book about you personally. Remember, my mother wrote a book about your early childhood life and you didn't have a good reaction to it at the beginning. I did not have any reaction because many of them was not true. Recognize they, what really happened to us. But after you us. have written that, did I ever confront you or your mother? Never. Never. After that was written, so many books have been said about me, written about me. Did I confront anybody or slap their faces or kick them or kill them? No. There is divine justice. I, I am a believer. I don't even wish confidentially in my heart evil to those people who did us so much harm and pain. They assassinate, they, they vilified so much my, my, my father, who was an outstanding human being. When my mother died, his second wife, he took good care of us and concentrated with his family. My father was not impoverished. My father was a doctor of laws. This is the reason why all of us and one of us is a nun, in fact. That is why even when I was um, at the verge of dying, having blood in the trial, and they were giving me medical severance, I rejected medical severance. I said more than life, I value vindication and the truth. Money and power you take with you only up to the grave. But truth and honor you take with you beyond the grave unto infinity. My father was, was of the three brothers, he was the only doctor of laws. He was a scholar, he was a renaissance man, he was a composer, he was a, a poet. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, and, and he went to take care of us, the, the, the six children of his second wife, because his first wife died. And we were six when my mother died. I was eight, barely eight. And the youngest was four months. And my father, at that point in time, one of his, uh, when I was born, the mayor of Manila was Romualdez. Justice of the Supreme Court was a Romualdez, a, a brother of his. There were three Romualdez, all lawyers, but my father was the only doctor of laws. And my, then, my mother and father felt that if they were to come back after martial law was declared in 72, that they would be arrested. They have no doubt about that. And also for me as well, they were worried about me coming back at that I, time. I, I, I do not know why, why they were thinking that way because Mopio Pedrosa was a very good friend of the family, of the Romualdez family. I don't know, I have no... Even those people who wrote against me, I was always nice to them. I have no ill feeling with anybody. If I am at peace with the truth, even they say, Imelda, you're cross-eyed. I'm not cross-eyed, the truth is still with me. I'm not angry with the person. I am sorry for them for not seeing the truth. I'm not answering anymore about this book or that book. So much has been written about me. I remember very well when I was coming um, for the, we were entering Malacanang for the first time and it just came from the grandstand and the people in Malacanang when they saw, oh, our first lady is so pretty and beautiful, even her, the soles of her feet are pink, kahit na ang sakong niya marusas rusas. Then I told Marcos Ferdinand, this is a frightening place. He said, why? I said, he said, even my, the color of my souls, they can see. He said, Imelda, when you become president, you enter history. When you enter history, you will be judged unto infinity. My mother showed me a picture of you meeting with Ninoy Aquino just a couple of months before yeah, his no, assassination. A month or two. Did you know anything about the assassination before it happened? No, 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 no. And, and there was no reason. What for? And I liked Ninoy. I knew even Ninoy before I met Marcos. But he's dead. He's dead under your rule, under the Marcos rule. May I ask you to look in your heart and look at 
I'm the not life that you my heart. I'll look at God. I'll look at straight at God. And he can strike me dead right now. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Marcos was a man of peace. He enriched himself, didn't he? Oh, you really? he were was enriching rich. yourselves. He was rich. He was rich when he, he and I got married. In fact, before he became president, he was number four. And you can see that in an interview in the Reader's Digest. He was number four in the payment of taxes. But Mrs. Marcos, isn't it true that $10 billion of the Philippine treasury money um, went missing? That's not true. That's not true. Because then we sh I should have been in jail already. But yeah. we have not stolen a billion. Imelda showed us volumes filled with nostalgic mementos of her glory days. Ah, this one says Libya. This is Libya. This is with the 29 countries of the world. And this is the Islamic conference. And this is you with Saddam Hussein. With Saddam. So, and if you saw, and if you saw the documentary they did, Imelda Marcos conquers Iraq. Ferdinand Marcos died in exile. His remains are now preserved in a mausoleum in his home province of Ilocos Norte, where he's considered a hero. When you go to Ilocos and you see your husband there, what do you think of? What goes through your head? Every time I go there, I thank the Lord. Lord, thank you for giving me the privilege of being by the side of a man touched by God. And this is the story of the, the Marcuses. Use power for peace. Yes. Use beauty for love. Peace and love together is infinity. And it is and this is forwarded by the greatest mathematician of the century because he said this is the most uh, this is mathematically perfect, this ideology and theology. Let us save the world. Mm -hmm. The Muslims are nice people. Mm -hmm. They are great. Mm -hmm. Even Arithmetic, so many things were started by them. And more than that, Islam is peace. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and we, had no, we had no intention of imprisoning you or what. Believe you. you me, God knows this. God, thank you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Thank you.